What's up, train friends? Welcome to another live stream. This is a pop-up here at the Pittsburgh TCA event. Uh, it's an outdoor train show, and it's unfortunately it's a little rainy. Masks are required. See if anybody joins in. So far, there's there's nobody. Everybody's sleeping still. It's too early. <laughs> but um. We'll, uh, we'll flip the camera around here. Give me one second. Here's the, uh, the setup we got going on today for the TCA meet. This is not my usual time, Heath. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Devon. Hey, Jake. So yeah, this is a pretty cool little uh, display booth we got set up today. I figured it'd be kind of kind of fun to show it, but it, it's kind of it, it is kind of a bummer that it's raining. But luckily we brought the, the little pop-up tent. So I thought you guys would find this really funny. This is a um, a display board I actually just made over the past couple days, and uh, threw up some of my some of my favorites, some bestsellers, some things that showed different uh different leds like you can see the the flickering fire and that color changing lights in the uh in the uh the, the uh, movie theater there hello duck man hello ray cross anchors railroad how you guys doing anfield john 2618 and uh yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys what we got going on. I brought tons of stuff to the show today. But I kind of just had this set up for now. Rainbow Sloth says, yo, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, kind of a bunch of stuff here. You can see there's more stuff back here that we brought. I brought all my LEDs to sell. Tons of building flats. I got building flats in the box here. <laughs> I was building like crazy this week. Um, unfortunately, the rain just kind of put in a little bit of a damper on things. But that's all right. It's kind of cold just to get out and say hi to people. And uh, here's some other ones I had. These are actually G-scale. The G-scale ones in the back there. This is an O-scale building. This is the O-scale um, Mount Rushmore. Is he really? Yeah. So, uh, Heath says, why are you selling seal wrap? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not selling the seal wrap. Definitely need that, though, on a, on a rainy day, so keep everybody's uh, building flats dry. Oh, another thing, this uh, the banner we just ordered, and, and uh, my daughter Lily helped me make the banner. She did an awesome job on it. What do you guys think? Luckily, it got here in time. I ordered it like last week and rushed delivered it. She did a pretty darn good job. It's got the website on it. Good thing I chose waterproof option. <laughs> so, SECR to Hobo is here as well. Thanks, uh, thanks, Sean. Thanks for the compliment on the banner. I'm also wearing one of my one of my new masks. Teespring mask got the PTF Designs logo on it, and the got the got the shirt on too. <laughs> so if you guys are new to the channel, um, PTF Designs are the building flats we make, and they're sold on the website right there at the bottom, and on eBay. You can find me on eBay if you do a search on there. Just search for PGH Train Fanatic or or just Building Flats. They'll, they'll show up. Uh, Heath Heath asked, "What does PTF stand for?" So PTF is actually an abbreviation for PGH Train Fanatic. It's P T F. That's how I came up with the name. So it's like Pittsburgh Train Fanatic. That's what PTF stands for. So. Now you guys know what PTF stands for. <laughs> so 
Aiden Crow says, wait, so is the train going to come today? I don't know if the train's coming today, buddy. <laughs> There's no trains coming here. Central Main Line, 1225. Hi, how you doing, buddy? Kevin Cuff says, looking good. Thanks, thanks for watching today, pal. Appreciate it. And uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the live show tomorrow, to be honest. I've been, like really busy this week and uh just kind of getting ready for this and then and then the rain came so uh if i do a live show tomorrow it's going to be kind of a, a last minute decision i'll be honest just going to depend on if i if i have the time or not um so just so you guys know ahead of time now but i brought a bunch of other stuff too check this out i brought um these are some O-scale building, like a big pile of them right there. But I also brought, what's this, let's see what's in this, in the surprise here. These are, uh, those look like the HO scale. Brought some HO scale flats right there. Good thing I put them in these Tupperware boxes too to keep them dry. Let's see what's in this one. These are the N scale. There's probably a good 30 buildings in there. What else is under here? Let's see what else is hiding, lurking in the back. Oh, those are all my LEDs. <laughs> Some of them, at least. What's over here? Let's see what's in this surprise. There's uh, S gauge, S scale stuff. Apartment on fire. This is uh, apartment number three. The Hines. Liberty Welding Company. The gas station. Fire department. Uh, the the blue. Apartment number one, that's a pr that's always a, one of my favorite apartments. Here's the pawn shop. The pawn shop's pretty funny. You got the closed the closed uh, video buster, aka blockbuster video. Then the pawn shop. We buy, we buy, we buy. <laughs> and then the Groove Records. You can get vinyl, 8-track, cassettes, and CDs inside. That'd make a good commercial. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is the apartment number two. Here is Freedom Firearms. These again, these are all the um, uh, S gauge ones that I brought. And we got somebody else saying hi. Westmoreland County PA Fire Buff. Hey, hello. How you doing today? Aiden says you should add red and blue LEDs to the fire truck and the fire station. Yeah, I thought I have done that before actually. And I've actually done right here in the fire department. I've made uh, the headlights flashing. Uh, I did that for a couple customers. It's just, it's a lot of LEDs. So the cost kind of goes up and then it loses its appeal when the cost goes too high. So kind of do those like as a special order. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy all the stuff I got here. Um, I was gonna do a um, another table here outside the tent, but it, with the rain, I just I had to keep everything under under wraps here. So if you guys uh, live locally and you want to come out and bear the uh, the, the elements here. So another thing I was going to do is that would be pretty cool would be to um, eventually on this display piece put some some uh, vehicles there with flashing lights that I sell like like a fire truck right there in front of the apartment on fire maybe some police cars surrounding it that'd be pretty cool but I, I grabbed this off the layout I was like all right that's always a funny funny scene with the with the Griswold so I grabbed that 
and then actually had two sets of these figures and I glued little pieces of plastic on them on the feet see that so they can just sit up like that and these are this is actually a k-line policeman and they came like that with a little piece of clear plastic on the bottom so they stand up easily and I thought I should do that with more of them helps them stand up better so um, we'll keep the live show going here for a few minutes because I don't want to I feel bad ending it I wasn't gonna do something real long and crazy just wanted to say hi show you guys the uh, the booth that we got set up some of the building flats check out this UFO I didn't really talk about that it's a uh, something new that I've never done before it's got like a flickering LED in it instead of a solid one and um, it's floating in the air I don't know if you can tell or not but you're not supposed to see that part right there but I stuck that there to make it look like it's it's floating <laughs> pretty neat I wanted to have something that showed off some some of the um, different LEDs like I got the green ones there red white and blue good for America Mer that's America colors right there <laughs> hey real toy trains is here how you doing buddy that's Brian if you guys uh, check out Brian's channel check out everybody's channel that, that, that's in here crossed anchors central mainline all these guys so yeah it's um turned out pretty good but check out the banner you guys just joined in now the banner is pretty cool he says how much to enter the contest to win the conroe heritage units oh gosh you keep going on this this heath and you're 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 spreading rumors okay <laughs> there's, there's no conroe contest just so everybody's clear of that <laughs> but there will be a, a ten thousand subscriber giveaway with the trains uh, that's undecided yet um it's going to be probably a like a bluetooth set just to to give you guys a heads up so if you're if you are watching right now and you're not subscribed definitely subscribe to the channel so that you can be in this 10,000 uh yeah exactly that he said the 10,000 sub contest <laughs> so i did bring an engine actually i was going to sell my um my my pensy e8s I got them in the trunk here. It's not, not really going to see much, but I, I didn't want to take them out and get anything wet. But that's the legacy Pennsylvania E8s. I brought those. Um, reason I'm thinking of selling those is actually because I'm there's another E8 set coming out that I'm going to get in place of them. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching today. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick little live show pop up. <laughs>